Darling, darling, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Bishop you Murphy. I need to get to the Dream Center. They be having church in the Dream Center. That is my job. Yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah. It's the nightly spirit with your girl Darlene McCoy, and I got my light skinned brother right here sitting beside me. Bye. James <laughs> What's up, sis? What's up, bro? Listen, you you get younger every time I see you. You get younger do, looking every time I, I see you. Do I look younger today? What you doing? What you drinking? What uh, you sipping on? Water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that had to be it. Well, I should want to do it for you. Butter, yes, that's it. A little Thank lemon. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you you know what? No, I'm going to be real honest with you. You say I look young, but I have seen pictures of your mother. Oh, yeah, mom. Why yeah, she mom. look like she could be my sister? <laughs> we look alike. She got some great jeans. That everybody, one right there. Everybody think that's my, like, my sister. I'm like, that's, right. that's mama. Ain't like, it or something? I post, yeah, or I post a picture of her and my sister. You're like, well, which one is the sister? Which one is the, the sister? Yeah, they be confused yeah, every time. Fly. So whatever yeah, your mama so. drinking, that's what I'm drinking. <laughs> oh, really? Amen, okay. Yeah. No, wait. Don't you all really mean. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You know, yeah, yeah. But that's it. That's yeah. where it is. It's in the jeans. So you know, you can already look forward to it. Listen, we're going to have an incredible time tonight with the one and and only James Fortune. He's got new music. I know you can't wait to hear it. I can't Ooh. wait to hear it. And we're going to talk to him in about 17 minutes on the Nightly Spirit. <laughs> that song is called The Blood with Ooh. the oh. Singing. Thank you, Jesus. Zacardi Cortez. And don't you thank God for the Out of all of the songs, you know what's crazy, James, is I could have picked at least. 15 different songs. <laughs> Cause all of your songs have been hit songs. I just yeah. wanted to just play the blood. Yeah. But, uh, but how you doing, man? I'm doing great. You know, um, God is good. God yes, is faithful. Is. Yes, um, is. You know, we overcome by the blood of the lamb, the word yes. of our testimony. And Amen. I think, you know, the blessing has been to be able to just, just share my story. You know, I went through a season of that and, and now to be able to minister to people and to, for God to give me another message. Uh, I believe the new single is more than a song, but it's actually a message that people uh, really need to hear because a lot of people don't know that they've really been struggling with unforgiveness toward themselves. You know, mm -hmm. they really just tried to move on with life uh, just without really dealing with themselves. So they're carrying mm -hmm. around all this guilt and shame and resentment. Mm -hmm. And it's passing on from generations. So I'm just grateful for another message to be able to bless people with. Another message to bless people with. But I'm going to tell you something. I just think that you ain't seen your best days yet. Wow. wow. I'm going to be very yeah. honest with you, brother. Wow. You're just a very anointed brother. You're very persistent and, and you're ministering. And um, despite of everything that happened, I just commend you that you just kept on going. Yeah. Well, you know, I thank you and I thank people like you who were praying you know yeah. um, I said in that song uh, everyone wasn't praying on you some people are praying for you uh, mm -hmm. and it's those people that give you that strength and God uses to really be able to pull you out of that when Job's friends after Job's friends prayed for him yes. uh, that's when God blessed them with double so thank you for being a true friend and you encourager it, and for praying for me you got it you know I got your back boy yeah. you know I'll be texting I'll be like hey James what you doing I you know, know right <laughs> Yeah, she rebuke if she had to, whatever it takes. That's what real friends do. Listen, real friends let you know. Listen, like, what, what you was, doing, yeah. boy? Hey, hey, yep. James. <laughs> but yep. I mean, we love. But that's that's real love. That's yeah, real friendship. It is. And, you know, I've always just admired you and your ministry, wow. and um, everything that you've done, man. You you know, you got a lot of people that look up to you, mm. and a lot of people that just appreciate. Yeah. You know, the gift in you, the the fact that God sent you. Yeah. So I just want you to be encouraged by ah, that. Tonight. Thank you so much, sis. Love and you. I love you too, yeah, boy. Really I'll be playing when I say I, I really when I appreciate say that. those words. You got it, man. You got <laughs> it. Family, I know you can't wait to hear this new song. It's called I Forgive Me. Yeah. Listen, ain't a lot of people saying that. Yeah. I need you to hear this. It's in 15 minutes on the Nightly Spirit with James Fortune. <laughs> Absolutely powerful, anointed James Fortune with I Forgive 
me. Yeah. Man, let me tell you something. I just see victory all over that. <laughs> I just yeah. see it all over that, man. And I'm just, I'm excited for you. Yeah, and, and it's like what you said. A lot of people don't talk about that. Right. I forgive me. We know the power of forgiveness, um, but we don't understand how important it is to be able to forgive yourself. You know, That's we understand right. the grace of God, but um, the thing of it is, see, when the, when the enemy is able to keep you incarcerated by your past, when he's Jesus. able to keep you thinking about what you didn't do right or mm -hmm. what you allowed you shouldn't have, mm -hmm. um, you're going through life, but you haven't really forgiven yourself, and mm -hmm. so you're still hurting. That's and of right. course, we always say, hurt people hurt people. Yes, right. uh, I had a young uh, a woman who sent me a message after hearing the song, uh, and she said that a uh, long time ago, her daughter had came to her because um, she was being abused by a family member, mm -hmm. uh, and the mom didn't believe it. Mom didn't believe it, mm -hmm. you know, for a while, kind of blew it off. It's like, oh, you're just making it up. She was a young child. Years went by, they ended up finding out that it was true. Um, went through all of that and the daughter of course was devastated the mom was so devastated she told me that she wasn't even able to really have a relationship with her daughter because she felt mm. so bad about not believing her years ago when it could have been stopped uh, and to make a long story short because they weren't able she wasn't able, able to ever connect with her mom mm -hmm. uh, she felt like she had nothing it was a bunch of family mess her daughter ended up committing suicide oh yeah man. her daughter ended up committing suicide went into a downward spiral of drugs and alcohol uh, and the mom was like if I just could have forgiven myself for not mm. believing her I could have had a relationship with my daughter and I could have saved her life Jesus. but because I was carrying around that guilt and that resentment because I didn't for, because I didn't believe her right. carrying around unforgiveness toward yourself is so toxic you it know is you toxic. Don't, it's so toxic and and, and, it, and it keeps everything that God sent you for yeah. hostage yeah it, and the Bible says that God says I will forgive your sins and remember them no more right. what that means is that God when he forgives you he doesn't keep bringing up your past that's so when right. it happens he loves you too much he loves you too much he says listen I'm forgiving you and I'm throwing it in the sea of forgetfulness but we incarcerate ourselves and we let the enemy do it because we don't forgive ourselves even though Ooh, God has powerful. forgiven us mm. you know if you've ever had a child and you know maybe they made a mistake and you you know you you talk to them and you forgive them, but they still carrying around because they like, yeah. Mama, you still mad at me? But the Bible yeah. says that God's anger is for a moment, but His oh, favor man. lasts a lifetime. It God ain't mad at you. Come on, James so forgive, Fortune. So forgive yourself because He's already forgiven you. You better preach this. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. This that is good stuff. You are ministering to somebody's heart tonight. I know you uh -huh. are. Um, and those of you family members that, you know, when you have forgiven yourself and God has forgiven you, I'm just going to tell you this. Anybody else that's got something else to say, tell mm. them lies. They <laughs> yeah. lies because God yeah. has already forgiven you. He already And has. you got to forgive yourself so that you can walk in the power and in the grace that God has that has he sent he yeah. Christ died for this. Yeah, he did. And you know what was powerful? What, what God had helped me realize is that. You don't need people's forgiveness to be able to forgive yourself. That's because right. Because you can't control anybody else forgiving you. That's but right. But you can control uh, forgiving yourself. So God mm -hmm. doesn't allow people's personal grudges to damage your relationship with him. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, you're only responsible for your actions, thoughts, feelings. And so if you can forgive yourself, maybe that person hasn't forgiven you yet. Maybe those people haven't let go of it yet. But at the end of the day, you can't let that stop. Because after every failure, God can still have a future for your life. You hear this. I forgive me. Listen, <laughs> Listen I'm I you, forgive I to, me. Yeah, I had to get free. I so. love it, James. I yeah. love it. And and what else is going on with this record? You got a whole Man. situation going yeah, on. Yeah, I'm working on a uh, record here in Atlanta. You know, uh, basically, um, you know, we're, we're close to being done. And um, the title of the album is Dear Future Me. It's an incredible concept album, which basically speaks to our future self. A lot of mm. people worry about the future. A lot of mm. people worry about how they're going to get through this. How they gonna... So this is basically like Dear Future Me. And the album just talks about, um, you know, forgiving yourself, moving forward, moving mm -hmm. past, and working with some amazing artists that I can't mm -hmm. uh, talk about right now. But this record, I'm really, really excited about it. This is the biggest break I've had. So I had a lot of time to, to work on me and to write through the whole journey. And, and so it's a real, real personal album. But I always, yeah. what's worked for me, is what comes from the heart has always reached the heart. So I'm excited for people to hear what God is giving me. This comes time. from the heart, it reaches the heart. Y'all hear that, don't you? You hear that? <laughs> yes. That's where the power is. <laughs> well, listen, James, thank you for stopping by to oh, see your man. girl, oh, man. Listen, I can't tell you thank you enough. It means so much. Uh, you don't really know who's really with you uh, until you go through a storm. And That's so I thank true. you for being consistent. I thank you for remaining the same uh, through yeah. it all and for having me here. It means so much, man. So shout out to you and your whole team, Dwight and everybody. Uh, for allowing me to be here to introduce this new song and just kind of talk about where I'm in my life right now. Well, we got it, man. We're just looking forward to it. You got great days ahead of you. I see it all man. over you. Wow. And we're excited about it. So 
James Fortune. Y'all know where he is, Mr. James Fortune on Instagram. Yes. And uh, everywhere else. I, I just know that because <laughs> I always James. see you all with your crazy self. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Listen, we, we make a good combination on Let's Instagram. Yes, we do. Just uh, crazy. Yeah. On Mr. J M R, Mr. James Fortune. That's Instagram and Twitter. So we're going to laugh, we're going to encourage, we're going to cry, right. we're going to do it all. That's right. And we we going to we be telling the truth. Listen, <laughs> the whole follow truth. him on Instagram. You're going to love it. <laughs> Listen, I got your selfie session on the way in 15 minutes. On the nightly spirit. <laughs>